Introduction Heredity is the process of transmission of characters from one generation to another generation. Yes, heredity plays an important role in formation of new species. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Define heredity Understand the accumulation of variations during reproduction Understand the inherited traits Understand rules for the inheritance of traits, Mendel's contribution Identify law of dominance Understand law of segregation Identify law of independent assortment Understand that how these traits get expressed Understand process of sex determination The accumulation of variations during reproduction The difference occurring between parents and their progeny and amongst siblings is called a variation. Only those variations are heritable which arise in the germ cells of the organisms. It is either due to combination of genes in chromosomes forming species or due to mutations. Inheritance of characters from parents accounts for similar body design and minute variations. However, Diversity is created over succeeding generations in an organism that reproduces sexually. Two individuals from same parents are different. This further gives rise to different progeny. Thus, diversity is created due to accumulation of variations after every generation. Variation constitutes the raw material for evolution, is base of heredity, produces new variants of organism, helps in adaptation of organisms to changed environment, and provides each organism a distinct individuality. Inherited traits Those traits which are controlled by generic materials and are obtained by parents' inheritance are called inherited traits. Activity Human years are of two types. Years with free ear lobes, years with fused ear lobes. We can understand the process of inheritance more clearly by observing years of all the students in the classroom. We find that most of our friends have free ear lobe, while some of them have fused ear lobes. Rules for the Inheritance of Traits Mendel's Contribution The rules of inheritance of traits in human being arose due to the fact that both father and mother contribute practically equal amount of genetic material, that is, DNA to the child. Thus, each trait can be influenced by both paternal and maternal traits. To study the inheritance of characters over generations, Gregor John Mendel in 1856 used seven contrasting visible characters of garden peas. Stem height Tall, dwarf plants Seed shape Round, wrinkled seeds Seed color Yellow, green seeds Flower color Violet, white flowers Pot shape, full constricted pots. Pot color, green yellow pots. Flower position, axial terminal flowers. A cross between a tall and a dwarf plant is done. Such type of cross which considers only one character is known as monohybrid cross. In the first generation, all the plants were tall. There were no halfway characteristics. In the second generation, both the traits are expressed in a progeny in the ratio 3 is to 1. Based on these experiments, Mendel has proposed two laws. Law of dominance. Law of segregation. Law of dominance. 
Mendel said that out of two contrasting characters in the progeny, only one character is expressed in the F1 generation. The character which is expressed in first generation, that is, tall, is called dominant character, while the character which is not expressed in first generation, that is, dwarf, is called recessive character. Law of Segregation Mendel said that before passing a character into next generation, the genes are first segregated or separated into gametes, which are then reunited to form a diploid zygote. Similarly, in his experiment, Mendel considered two characters of seed color, yellow, green, seed shape, round, wrinkled. Such cross which considers two characters at the same time are called dihybrid cross. In first generation, all the plants have round seeds with yellow color. So, round and yellow are dominant traits, while green and wrinkled are recessive traits. Activity To confirm that the F2 generation did in fact have a 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio of TT, TT and TT trait combinations, we will have to self-cross the F2 generation to produce F3 generation. In F3 generation we find that pure tall TT produces only tall plants, pure dwarfs TT produce only dwarf plants, while hybrid tall TT produce offspring in 3 is to 1 ratio, 3 tall and 1 dwarf. So we can conclude that tallness is dominant over dwarfness. Law of Independent Assortment Each character is independently inherited in the next generation irrespective of the source of character in parent generation. Each gene set is present, not as single thread of DNA, but as independent pieces called chromosome. Thus, each cell has two copies of each chromosome, one each from male and female parent. Each germ cell or gamete will take one chromosome from each pair when two germ cells combine, ensuring stability of DNA of species. How these traits get expressed? Each eukaryotic cell contains chromosomes which are long thread made up of DNA. DNA carries a code which instructs the cell about which character is to be expressed in the next generation. A part of DNA which codes for a single character is called a gene. Each cell has two copies of each chromosome, one from father and one from mother. Each gamete will take up one chromosome from the parent. When two chromosomes combine total number of characters, in next generation remains constant, thus ensuring the stability of DNA. Sex Determination Most human chromosomes have a maternal and a paternal copy, and we have 22 such pairs, out of which one pair is called sex chromosome. This sex chromosome is not always a perfect pair. Women have a perfect pair of X chromosome, but men have a mismatched pair in which one is normal sizes X chromosome, other is short, called Y chromosome. So women are XX and men are XY. During transmittance, mother will always contribute an X chromosome irrespective of sex of child, while chromosome contributed by father will determine the sex of child. A child who inherits X chromosome from father will be a girl, while the child who inherits Y chromosome from father will be a boy. Did you know, the term genetics was coined by Bateson in 1906. Mendel is known as father of genetics. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. 
inheritance from previous generation provides both a common basic body design as well as suitable changes in it for the next generation. The rules of heredity determine the process by which traits are reliably inherited. Both father and mother contribute equal amount of genetic material to the child. Mendel used seven pairs of contrasting characters of garden bee for his breeding experiments. In F1 generation, Mendel got all tall plants for monohybrid cross. In F2 generation, all plants were not tall and one quarter of them were short. With such crosses, law of dominance and law of purity of gametes, which is also called law of segregation, was worked out. In dihybrid cross, Mendel got the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 in F2 generation. This led to discovery of law of independent assortment. Genes are made up of DNA which forms proteins responsible for expression of characters. In human beings, sex of individual is genetically determined. Human beings have 23 pairs of chromosomes. 23rd pair is known as sex chromosome. Women bear XX type of sex chromosomes, while men are with XY type of sex chromosomes. Thus, men are with 44 plus XY combination, and women are with 44 plus XX combinations of chromosomes. Variations are the structural, functional, or behavioral changes from the normal characters of the living organisms.